today we are doing free code camp javascript algos and data structures and we are in the basic javascript on challenge 44 of 113. so let's go down so we're going to manipulate arrays with push so an easy way to append data to the end of an array is a push function um, generally when you hear people talking about this it'll be a dot push because that's how you implement it syntactically so if we have an array a variable that's a, uh, is an array one, two, three, and we want to add four to it, we can just say array, array one, which is the variable, dot push, and then push is a built-in method, built-in function, so it takes the parentheses and put whatever we want in the parentheses that we want to push into the array. So in this second example, if we have array two, Simpson, Stimpson, sorry, J cat, and we want to push happy and joy in there, it will actually push this whole array because these these two variables are within an array here. They're within parentheses, but they're also within curly brackets, which means they're within an array. So uh, yeah, this is just kind of running us through the basics of dot push. So we're gonna push dog and three into the end of my array. So my array is a multi-dimensional array, and we just want to push the, uh, an array with dog and three into it. So we can simply take our variable that is assigned to this original array that we want to push into. We can say my array dot push and then whatever we put in these parentheses we'll push into that array. So we want to just push another array, so uh, square brackets, and then we want to add dog and the number three. So again, generally when I code this out, I'll space it out like that just so it's easier to read. Um, and now if we actually console log beneath this, my array, you can see that my array here was John 23 in an array and cat and two in another subarray uh, is now one array with our newly added array within it. A lot of array array going on today. But that's it. That's all it wanted us to do. Now we know how to add or push things into arrays.